From beacons that work in the nether to the one mob Johnny will not kill, I busted 57 scary Minecraft myths so you don't have to. Endermen can ruin your day, but apparently paths made with waterlogged leaf blocks stop them completely. Let's give it a try. I've put these blocks everywhere, and now I have to put myself in danger. Look, he can't get to me! Look how mad he is, and he can't touch me! Ha! <laughs> That's what you get for stealing the walls of my dirt house! I mean, I, I, I don't have a dirt house. I, I, I have a cool house. Please don't tell anyone I live like this. Have you heard of the cursed pale garden? This biome is still experimental, and nobody really knows what's inside, but there's a myth going around that the illagers are afraid of some strange new creature. They won't build woodland mansions here. There's only one way to find out if it's true. With the winter drop experimental data pack, we can get in. And with this code, we can check. Can woodland mansions spawn? They can't! What are the illagers afraid of? I've gotta get out of here! Everyone knows Minecraft has some insane mechanics, but apparently there's a crazy bug. Changing the volume setting for the jukebox doesn't do anything. Let's test this out and start at full volume. Okay. Sounds fine. Let's go down a bit. Wait, that sounds the same. Down to half. Huh? And it still sounds the same. What? <laughs> what about zero? Okay, so it goes silent. At 10% is up a little. 20 at more. And then it just stops going higher. Mojang, what kind of bug is this? Maybe they just really love the banging tunes. Everyone loves a good beacon light show. I've been seeing people make beacons in some really crazy and dangerous places. Some have even done it in the nether. It needs to be able to reach the sky, and surely it can't because the nether is covered in bedrock. Let's try it out. Oh, it does work. The beam is going right through the bedrock. Let's try it again. This time with netherrack in the way. Ah, see? It gets blocked by netherrack, but not the bedrock. That's probably the first time that bedrock actually isn't in the way. There's rumors out there that glow squid have a dangerous secret. If you stare too long at them, they'll hypnotize you. Apparently, this was a statement by Mojang themselves. So, let's test it out. I'm gonna follow this glow squid around all day, staring straight at it, and I should definitely get hypnotized. Right? Okay, it's been all day, and nothing happened. So, did Mojang lie? Well, uh, kind of. The source of this was a mob vote Mojang was holding. The hypnotism was just a joke for the video telling you to join in. I'll never believe anything they say ever again. Ooh, what's this Mojang news about the creaking? I've seen videos of people killing the ender dragon with just a bunch of snowballs. Let's try it out. Yeah, take that dragon. Take these snow... Oh, balls. Uh, it's not working. Myth busted. Run! Is it true that the Endermen built every ancient structure in Minecraft? They are the only mob that can carry blocks and place them. And they're also the only mob to be in the end, nether, and the overworld. It's not confirmed by Mojang, but I'm convinced. Good job getting to the end, guys. Now, will you stop stealing my watermelons? Everyone hates gas, but there's murmurs that the gas aren't undead at all. They're living creatures twisted by the nether. Well, the best way to check if the monster isn't dead is if this healing potion kills it. <gasps> it doesn't! It just got healed! This big white ghost is not undead! Well, does that mean a wither will attack it since the wither attacks all living mobs? No! Why don't you fight each other? That's not fair! Ah! I bet you wouldn't last 10 minutes in this cursed world. According to everything I've heard, the spawn point is on a small remote island. The village filled with zombies. There's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. I have to see if it's true. Okay, spawned in and wow, this island is small. It's basically just a village on the ocean. Oh, there better not be zombies in these houses. I don't have any weapons yet. Oh, there's a villager in here. That's not a villager. It's true. It's all true. I'll jump in the water and swim to safety. Have you heard the myth that the deeper you go in the world, the more mobs spawn? Well, let's find out. I've got a monster spawn at the top of the world, and one at the bottom. Which one will spawn mobs faster? The bottom one did! It's because the game checks the total game height of spawn location, and the lower it is, the higher chance there is of spawning a mob. Oh, there's a lot spawning down here, huh? The trident can do amazing things, but some say they can even break chorus flowers. We have a chorus tree here, and a trident ready to go. Oh, it works! Wow, that's an easy way to get the fruit. Especially if the trident has loyalty. Oh, I missed. And there it goes into the void. Have you seen the creaking? Because it might be the scariest mob of all time. It's so terrifying that even Johnny, the homicidal maniac illager, is afraid of it. I've got to see if it's true. Three, two, one. Go, Johnny, go! Uh, Johnny? He's not attacking. That's crazy, and it almost looks like he's running away. Is he afraid? I need to ask him. Johnny, what's going on? Ah! No, Johnny! No! Everyone loves Steve, but recently something has changed. Like he's been replaced? He looks normal, just like in all the adverts and games, but I swear he didn't have a beard before. I went back through the versions, and look! There he is! No beard! They kept the beard in the marketing, but in the actual game, he had a shave. But now the beard is back. How did I not realize he didn't have a beard before? That's like saying Alex used to wear glasses. Wait, 
Really? The weather is terrifying, and everyone has different tactics against it. There's word going around about the strength of waterlogged leaves. They apparently can survive the explosive attacks from the weather. Let's try it. I made this leafy cage that the weather will have to blast through. Let's go! That's another myth busted! Oh, I really shouldn't have done this experiment next to the dog kennel. Did you know that when spiders are invisible, their eyes can still be seen? Well, people have been saying that the same thing happens to phantoms. They normally fly so far away that it's impossible to test, but I've got a phantom right here. It worked! The body is invisible, but the eyes are still lit up and can be seen perfectly. I stayed up for three nights to get this phantom, and it was totally... Uh, worth it. The warden can fuel nightmares for weeks, but players have been trying to trap it in a single block hole. That can't work, right? It's so big! Let's test it out! Go on, drop in, warden! I'm making so much noise! Yes! The warden fits into a single block hole? It looks like it totally shouldn't work, but that myth is true! Look at him! He looks really mad. Oh, I forgot he has a shockwave blast. Oh, oh, I'm sorry! Loads of people know about the killer bunny, a terrifying beast that will attack at any moment. However, everyone also knows that if you tag a bunny with the name Toast, it will turn into this cute little thing. But I've been told that using that name tag, the beastly killer bunny will become a little sweetheart. Let's give it a go. Here's the killer bunny, and here's the name tag. Name changed! Look, he's changed his fur pattern! But nothing else has changed. Oh god, it's biting me! Help! Everyone knows that you can't stack different types of slabs on top of each other. Apparently, if you go to the world border and make a setup like this, you can use a piston and yep, it makes a really cursed looking block. This one's true. Mangrove trees are super cool, especially because they're the only tree that can be grown underwater. Right? Well, the propagule is the only thing that can actually be placed down here and works perfectly. Saplings, however, get broken almost immediately. Almost immediately. If you're quick enough, you can actually grow trees down here. This definitely doesn't feel right, but hey, the game's a game. This one says that if you spawn a cat in a witch hut, it'll always be black. I've spawned about 50 of these things in here, and they're all black, so I'll say that's confirmed. All my life, I've made this huge enchanting setup with all these bookshelves, but apparently you only need 15 bookshelves in total, meaning this tiny setup works just as well as this one. And wait, is oh. that actually true? My life is a lie. There are three different types of overworld frog, warm, cold, and temperate, but supposedly there's a fourth secret frog you can only get in the end. If you take two frogs and lead them to the stronghold, send them through the portal and feed them slime balls, the tadpoles will grow into super frogs! Yeah, I just made that up. They're just normal. Myth busted. This myth says you can shoot fire arrows to the bottom of a lava cauldron, but there's no way that's true. Can you even shoot below them at all? Huh, wait, I guess it is true. How didn't I know that? Am I stupid or something? You can use these fire arrows to light TNT, but what else does this work with? Eggs and projectiles. Do they work? Oh, yeah, they do. Snowballs would just melt, wouldn't they? Nope, that works too. Okay, there's no way the fishing rod works too. It does? That's insane! Oh no. Have you ever been to the cinema and had your eardrums blown out by the super loud noise? Well, legend has it this was actually added to Minecraft. If you find a 2% screaming goat, it has a 1 in 4 chance of dropping the call horn. And when you blow it... I'll say that's confirmed. You can make a door with end rods that mobs can't get through. This one's weird because the end rods are thin enough for us to walk through. So why wouldn't mobs be able to? Oh, huh, I guess it works. That's strange. Maybe they see them as full blocks like they do with trap doors? Grindstones remove the enchants from items, so surely it makes sense for it to do the same for a notch apple, right? Oh, I guess not. Why would you even want to do that? Wait, what if I put an enchantment on it with an anvil and then put it in the grindstone after? There we go. I'll call that one a maybe. Have you ever heard of the magic turtle leg? It's said that if you you place a turtle egg at 000, then every single zombie in the world will come running over to kill it. This can't possibly be true, but I've got to test it just in case. So I've got an egg just laid by Gertrude the turtle. I'll place it here and here they come. So many of them all running to the egg. Oh, Gertrude, don't look. Oh, I really should have warned the experiment was. Oh, Gertrude, I'm sorry. Oh, well, you can make more. Have you ever broken your door and this item hasn't appeared? It's been happening to more and more people. Is it a weird glitch? I thought my friend was stealing them while invisible, so I sent him to jail. Well, it's been said that breaking the door at the bottom breaks the door completely, leaving no item. Let's try it out. Oh, it left no door item at all? And if we hit it at the top? Oh, a door! That's such a weird glitch. Well, done. Now I have to let Timmy out of jail. Speaking of golden apples, apparently there's always one single golden apple in this chest right here. And it's actually the key to a secret room in the ancient city. If you take it down here and eat it in this exact spot, this door will open. All that's inside is a bunch of redstone stuff I don't understand, but hey, it's true. And if we head back up, there's this huge abandoned portal looking thing right in the middle of the city. But have you actually seen anyone like this thing before? Here we go! It works! Let's see where it takes us. Oh, just another. Probably because this is actually just obsidian. This one's false. Apparently, you can actually make two block jumps with cactus or fire damage. You just have to time it perfectly. 
got that. But I did it! I've heard you can do it with a bubble column too. Oh yeah, that's way easier. And much less painful. We've all felt the disappointment of not receiving rainbow wool from a Jeb sheep. But apparently if you surround a wool block with eight different dyes, you'll finally get it. Ugh, never mind. There's that disappointment again. My bad. But speaking of dyes, I was told that the white tulip doesn't actually give you white dye. The red, orange, and pink tulips all give you the right dye. But yeah, the white one doesn't. I absolutely love alleys, and it turns out they're even better than I thought. Apparently, they're totally immune to our attacks while holding an item. If you punch them normally, they'll just run away. But if you throw them an item, literally nothing can hurt them. These things are just so cute. But alleys aren't the only mob that can pick up items. Zombies and foxes can too. So let's try giving each of them a totem of undying and see if they can use them. Okay, zombies can, which is just terrifying, and foxes can as well. But what about alleys? I feel truly horrible doing this, but let's try it out. Oh, thank God. I wouldn't have been able to live with myself. Apparently, you can repair iron golems. If you see one or cracked up after a fight, you should be able to take some iron ingots and right-click on it. Hey, yeah, it fixes it right back up. That's super cool. I recently learned you can place beds underwater. Well, what's the point if you can't sleep in it? I mean, surely I can't hold my breath down here for eight hours. I'd... Oh. I guess I can. Okay, but obviously that doesn't work under lava. It's, what the hell, Mojang? In real life, people think coal and diamonds are both made out of the same thing. This means that if you apply enough pressure, like with a piston, you can literally turn coal into diamonds. And surprise, surprise, it doesn't work. Probably because it's not even true in real life. It's a myth there too. Double busted. It's been forever since we got a new note block sound, but apparently Mojang secretly added a new one just recently. All you have to do is place them on top of an iron block and right-click them 64 times each. Then when you activate them, Oh god, why? Older players keep saying Minecraft used to be way darker and scarier. Is this true? Well, let's go back to one of the first versions of Minecraft and... Whoa! Nighttime is almost pitch black. It's like on the moody setting on the brightness bar. What was that? Who's there? I can't see anything. Let's skip to daytime. Oh, it's so bright and green everywhere. It was definitely darker at night, but in the day, it's brighter than ever. It's so bright as blending in with the... Creepers. Do you know about the most dangerous world in Minecraft? The legendary Frodo Die Noodle Seed is infamous. Not because it's full of monsters, but because the world itself is full of traps. You'll be walking through the forest, pushing through leaves, and will suddenly drop tens, if not hundreds, of blocks down. It's apparently killed thousands of players. But it can't be that bad, right? I have to investigate this myself. See? It's a perfectly normal world. Uh, let's just explore a bit, find a good place to build a- Ow! Ah! Camels look just delightful when they're walking around. <laughs> yeah. Look at their little ears, I love them. Apparently, Cauldrons can totally absorb full damage. If they're filled with water, surely I won't die. Oh, okay, what if I actually try to get in the middle? Well, that, even that doesn't work. I literally fell into water. Fine, if that doesn't work, what if I try without water? It works. They even bounce you. Crazy, right? I'm just kidding. These are slime blocks. Tricked you though, didn't I? Whenever you try to run underwater, you just get put into the swimming animation. But apparently, this changes when you run on mud. Hey, it's true. I think this is because mud is just a little bit shorter than a regular block. So it should work with soul sand too, right? Oh, wait, bubbles. Yeah. I'm not smart. Does Blowing up balls give you XP. I know it gives you 100% of the resources now, but I've never dared to mine diamonds with it. Oh yeah, it does give XP. I think I'll stick to my pickaxe though. This just feels wrong. Apparently you can't spawn weathers in snowy biomes. Yeah, snowy tiger, frozen peaks, even snowy beaches don't work. Wait, what if you break the snow layers below? Ah, there, myth busted. It works. I should probably run away now. According to this myth, there's actually a time where looking in an enderman's eyes is a good idea. Obviously they became aggressive when you first look at them, but from now on, whenever you lock eyes, they'll freeze completely in place. I don't know what you do from here, but hey, this myth is true. Only the richest players can test this myth out. Apparently, nether stars are disappointed when you explode them. It feels so wrong to do this, but let's try it. Hey, it actually works. You can even do it with stacks of them without losing any. I bet you can even put them in item frames and... Oh, no. This works because it would really suck if you killed a wither and the star got blown up by the final skull. But what if you were fighting it near lava? Would you still be safe? Nope. <sighs> Easiest bust yet. Apparently, armor doesn't actually protect you from potions of harming. Okay, so I take six hearts without any armor. Let's try with full diamonds. Yeah, look, six hearts as well. Okay, what about with full protection? Four. Now it's just two hearts. I guess I may as well just use leather armor now. Myth confirmed. But when you've got this many nether stars, what do you even use them for? You obviously don't need this many beacons. Well, this myth says that if you use a nether star and a beacon instead of iron or emeralds, you'll actually receive double the effects. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work. But come on, Mojang. You may as well add this for the people that are insane enough to use netherite to power their beacons. They deserve something. Even though it's easily the scariest biome in the game, it's said that mobs won't 
spawn in the deep dark at all. I spent about five minutes flying around here and I didn't see any, so I'll just call this confirmed. Obviously, there's still one mob that can spawn here, but you can even totally disable this as well with this command. Suddenly, this place isn't so scary. One of the oldest myths in Minecraft is that sugar canes grow faster on sand. So I'm here to finally solve this debate. I've placed 25 sugar cane on every type of sand and dirt. And when I type this command, we'll be able to see exactly which group grows fastest. And see, they all grow at pretty much the same exact speed. It's just random. It doesn't even change if you grow it on cobblestone or something, even though it does look super cursed. Consider that myth ultra busted. Look, we all know how strong the warden is, but I've heard it's so strong that it doesn't even take damage from fire. Okay, lava doesn't damage him and neither does regular fire. What about fire enchantments? Yeah, it doesn't affect him at all. I guess it would be kind of easy if you could just dump lava on him and run away. Myth confirmed. And apparently wardens have so much health they can survive a drop from the very top of the world all the way down to bedrock. So let's test it. Yeah, it survives. It turns out you'd have to drop the warden exactly 504 blocks to instantly kill it, which is literally impossible in a normal world. This thing is so powerful. But what if I told you this myth says cats are even more powerful? Sure, they only have literally 2% of the warden's health, but they have a special secret. No matter how far you drop them from, they won't take any damage. Apparently, this is because in real life, cats can literally fall from 200 feet up and survive. It's so much better than a dog. Hey, I didn't kill it. I'm still keeping my promise. And what about us? For some reason, landing in just an inch of water is enough to completely survive any fall. So, I mean, a watermelon is mostly water. Surely that can save me, right? Yeah, no. But berry bushes can. Right. 1.20 finally added armor customization with armor trims. But did they add the ability for our horses to get dripped with us? All right, it doesn't work with diamond. What about leather? Oh, I guess not. Looks like it does work for turtle shells, though, for extra swag for us. Sorry, horsey. Oh, and by the way, if you have a looting 255 sword and kill a screaming goat, you'll actually get a secret goat horn that plays a super special sound. I bet you've heard the impossible myth that Endermen are actually speaking English. This one definitely can't be true, but apparently it's English that's been reversed, pitched down, and spoken in a strained tone. I think he just said, hey, what's up? Look for the eye. Uh-oh, they've noticed I understand them. Uh, I'll do whatever you want. Calm down. I'll subscribe. I'll subscribe.